hello hello queens it's your girl kanisha with currency queen budgets in this video i will be putting together my new budget planner if that is something you're interested in stay tuned Alright guys, so I know I said my new budget planner, but y'all know I'm always doing something and creating different things. So I couldn't wait on my other planner to come in. So I went ahead and I printed out one of my planners that I just made. It's just a new one that I just quickly put together, you know, just to make it a little fun and a little cute and a little sassy. Um... So I just decided that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys how I'm going to put that together just in case you guys are interested in doing that. I know you guys may be saying, hey, this is all this girl is doing. Where's the budgeting part? Guys, I'm still doing my budgeting and everything, and I know y'all have been watching the videos, but I'm all about trying to teach y'all how to create things to make some extra money as well because we all need the extra money. And in our budgeting community, we do not have a lot of that um, going on. So I just want to share with you guys what I know how to do just to help whoever it can help. I don't know. It may not help nobody. It might help somebody, but I am here to give you guys everything because I can't keep holding all this stuff on my brain, y'all. Y'all should see. I wish y'all could see my brain. Inside my brain it is overloaded, and it's time for me to get some of this stuff out. So let me grab my planner, and I'm going to show you what we are going to start with. As I mentioned earlier, I am going to start with my planner. I did print this out, and it, it this is my um, Queen's Budget by Paycheck planner, and it is just full of goodies, and it is thick, as you guys can see. So that left me to have to pull out my cinch guys and i did not want to do this this is a 52 week um book this one is, has 52 weeks in it so i'm going to sit this aside and then i'm going to grab my cinch and then i'm going to start with one month and show you guys how i actually work that but i think she is so cute guys what y'all think Y'all know I'm always bragging on my stuff. <laughs> of course, I would think it's gorge. So you will need your inserts, of course, what I just shown you. And you will need your, your binding machine. And I am using um, the cinch. And you will also need some um, binding wires. Or you can use some binding spiral. I am using... Oh, hold on. Hope. Okay. Okay, so this is um, the one inch binding, and I'll show you the different sizes. I thought I was going to have to turn this video off until another day. So, this is the one inch here. And, or is that the half an inch? That may be a half an inch. I'm sorry for all the noise. And then this one is the one inch. So this is the one I will be using. Hopefully it's not too small. I was thinking I needed a two inch, but I think this is a, a 0.5 here. This black one is a 0.5 and this is a two. So you will need your, your binding wire, whatever you decide to bind with. You can bind with um, spiral or you can do your wire. And um, for your cover, you can either laminate your cover or you can use chipboard. I'm going to show you guys what chipboard is. Chipboard is just a hard cover that you can use for your, um, for your cover. Let me scoot this over for a second. This is called a chipboard and it is a hard cover. You can purchase this on Amazon. I will leave the link um, down below. And what you would do is put your picture on this side and then leave this white for your inside cover. That way you won't have none of this brown showing in your planner, unless you want the brown showing, I don't know. But I prefer to 
just put my picture here and then let this be the inside of my cover but that will be on another video i'm not going to be long on this video because um it looks like my storage is kind of low so i'm going to get into this and like i said this is the heidi swap the cinch it has a handy dandy little keeper here to keep your your um lever down so you take that off and the lever will wait, raise up and then you have your pegs here you have your ruler here and it just tells you um how long your paper is it don't tell you that but it does tell you that and then here you have some instructions on how to punch it you have your inches here and it tells you which peg to pull and then on the back of this you have where you will bind this and we will go through all of those steps i'm not going to punch my the whole entire planner on here but i am going to show you how i go through um the steps of doing it so the first thing i do is i will pull my ruler out and i pull it all the way out and uh, leave it i always pull mine out to the last line and i make sure my seven is connected here but down here it tells you the instructions on how how you should do this i am going to be using an 8.5 by 11 size sheet of paper that is the standard and i have one month that i have my printer actually um printed two septembers i'm not sure why i think it stopped and messed up maybe the internet um disconnected or something and then it started back where it um finished off i'm not sure what happened with my printer but it did print out two months of September so I just grabbed this September just to show you guys for this example and then I will go and do the rest of my planner off camera and um, I'll come back and show you how I bind it so the first thing we do we are going to figure out which side we will be punching the holes in so the holes will be of course on your left side now you have to figure out which directions your papers will go i like to start at the back of my planner all the time that way i know that i have my holes punched in because i like to pull this out first and then i like to punch the end part first and i will kind of explain why i like to do it that way so i'm just going to grab a few sheets of paper i'm going to lay that there and the rest will be to the side here so what i like to do is of course straighten them up because you want them even you don't want crooked holes at all so you know we have to pull out our peg and it says for 11 you have to pull out number 10 so I am going to sit this up here and I'm going to pull out peg number 10 you just give it a slight pull you don't have to pull it hard just give it a slight pull can you see the difference from where this is out and these are all in so I have to yeah, it's just something about it. I have to make sure that they're straight. So you're going to go in. Once you have everything in place where you need it, you'll just pull that lever down and it will punch your holes in there. And you have your holes. I'm going to sit this to the side and then I'm going to do the rest of my papers. You can put up to 20 sheets in here at one time. I try not to put that many because I don't I don't know I just I just always go under that amount and as you guys see the more papers I put in the more elbow grease I had to had to put in so I like to leave mine separated like that you don't have to you can put them all together if you think your holes are exactly the same so the next thing I will do, I'm going to move this in because I am going to flip my sheets over here and I am going to move it in. And that is the normal spot that it's at. 
and I just know that because this from using it so I will go in this way now we have that tin put pulled out we're not going to leave that tin pulled out because we want this top to punch we want this top to punch and on the side here I did not show you guys but let me show you on the side here it has an alignment guide here and you can align your paper it'll be that second hole the second hole here you will align that in there and you can click it in and it won't move at all that's one thing that i do like about this cinch y'all i used to have i used to hate it until i i had to figure it out y'all because Ooh, Lord, how mercy. All right, so we are going to punch that 10 in. And now you guys see why I like to do all of my holes at one time because when you get to flipping and flopping your pages at the same time, you'll forget to punch your hole in and you just messed up a sheet of paper or a section of your planner. So what I'm going to do now, now that that is locked in, I am going to yeah I always double check my stuff yeah I, I just go overboard um I'm going to punch it and then you would just go in and lift that lever up and pull it out and there you have your hole punch we're going to do it again And once you guys start doing this a lot, it won't take this long. I'm just trying to go slow to make sure I'm showing you guys the correct way and trying to go slow because I know some people need to go slow because sometimes I am one of those people. <laughs> I need people to go slow with what they're doing. So I have for September, as you guys can see, the holes are punched perfectly. And I am going to go in and punch the rest of my months. And I will be right back. Alrighty, so we have finished the hole punching. I did turn it back on at the end. Once I got over halfway finished, my intentions were to turn it back on once I started on my top side of my holes, but I think I just forgot to turn it back on. So this is the finished results. 
and I'm still not finished with my cinch, but I can uh, close this down for right now. Um, I went ahead and did my, get this out the camera. I went ahead and did my covers. I went ahead and laminated those and punched them as well while I had it in position um, for, with the hole punch before I moved it over to punch my second set of holes. Where's my trash? Here it is. Um, so yeah, I, I went ahead and laminated this and I did not do this on chipboard. This is regular cardstock that I just ran through the laminator and I just went ahead and punched it because y'all, I didn't want to get on here looking crazy because when I tell y'all I had a love hate with this cinch here, I bought this cinch in 2020 and when I tell y'all I used it a few times and then I put it away, I'm it's been in my closet since 2020. <laughs> I think I used it probably about two or three times because it was like, it was like such a headache to me because I was doing it. I was messing up because I didn't have no one to walk me through and teach me how to do it. So I think this right here, making this planner is just kind of refresher and I feel more comfortable with it now. And I know, I don't know if it's just because I'm being patient, taking my time. I don't know. But I feel a little bit more comfortable doing this video. And I know I need to get a little comfortable with it because this is something that I plan on teaching as well. Making these covers, you know, some knockout covers for your planners, your journals, or whatever you want to learn to do. I'm going to uh, be teaching that as well on my... um my course hub, I guess I can call it a course hub because I'm going to have everything on there. Almost everything that I know how to do is going on there. And it, I will provide templates for every course that we have. It'll come with templates and step by step. We're going to have Q&As, you know, here and there. So um, if this is something that you're interested in making, yeah, just go ahead and go over there and just get on the email list and once those classes started starts dropping um the ones that haven't dropped already once the new ones start to drop you will get an email and notify you when those classes will drop if you can go ahead and sign up for them most of them are already signed up and they have dates for the uh, meetings and we will be doing them live so if you can catch it live That'll be, I guess it'll be better for you. But if not, hey, you can always catch the replays. But that is it with this cinch for right now. As far as the hole punching. But I want to get some of my old planners. So you guys can see the difference. Hold on one second. Alright, so I grabbed some of my first planners that I made. And y'all, I was kind of tickled when I grabbed it. Oh, um, but here is the first one I made. This one was a uh, um, bossed up gracefully. I made this, y'all. And when I tell y'all, this was the one that got me all of the attention. Um, I made it and I put it on Facebook just to be like, hey, look what I did. I was bored. And when I tell y'all, I got 15 orders off of this one book. I had several designs already created and I put this on there and then I did um I did what, I, what did I do I think I just uploaded other pictures of some some that I created but I haven't I didn't have them bind it and this was of course done with a different binding machine and this is my favorite binding machine now if I would have had that bigger um wire to fit this one this is what i would have preferred to do because i like this one better i think this is a this is a three one three to one which meaning it's three holes to every one inch and then the cinch is two holes to every one inch it'll be two holes for every one inch so yeah that's a three to one and a two to one so and I did purchase those machines on Amazon, but this is, oh, let me show y'all, let me show y'all the inside of this. Um, 
So this was kind of my order book for my cakes. Yeah, and I just thought it was so freaking cute. See, y'all see it was in 2020. And um, was I still going to school? Yes, I was still going to school. So you see my discussions and then my cakes and stuff. I had papers due. So in 2020, I was, yeah, I was doing, I was going to school. I was making these planners. I was doing my cake business, y'all. I was, I was doing it up. I was, I was busy. And when I tell y'all, y'all know I'm a hustler. If you follow me and been watching my videos, y'all know I'm a hustler to the heart. And that's where I got my name from, the Currency Queen. Because if it's money to be made, guess who gonna make it? Me. <laughs> I'm going to make it. So, this is like a cute little planner. And I forgot all of this was in here, y'all. And when people saw this, they went crazy. Look at my little tabs. Okay. I know this is supposed to be a DIY, y'all. But I had to just show y'all this real quick. And then I put not self-made, but I'm God-made on the back. With my little girl with my logo. This is my cake logo. And then I moved on. I think this was in 2021. And this was with using my cinch here. So you can see the paper on this side. And that's just from, you know, learning how to do this. And I put my little prayer for my business over here. And of course that... I didn't fill that out. Let me see what year this is. Yeah, this, so this is 2021. And I'll let y'all see how this kind of look. So this is just 2021. Uh, I don't mind y'all looking at this because it's old. Whatever. Um, But I like to use my stickers everywhere. I was doing a detox in 2020. 2021 because you know at the beginning of the year, y'all, we always trying to do some things lose some weight but yeah i was doing my detoxes and i like to put my stickers instead of writing everything in i like to have my stickers on my lookout and then write everything else in my planner here and see i have planner orders that i had to do y'all when i tell y'all i was busy busy ain't the word and then see one of my goals Make 10K in 30 days, become a treat teacher. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing this. <laughs> so, see. Um, but, yeah, that is kind of. And I have elevated, y'all. I'm telling y'all from when. I'll show y'all the back. It's just plain. And then I think the back here just have. All of this in here, this income, and you know, just keeping up with all of my supplies for the business and stuff. So, yeah, so this is my first planner. So, I've been doing this for I don't know, this is year number three. I quit doing handmade pl printers, I mean. I quit doing handmade planners because I was getting so many orders and I ended up outsourcing those. And that is also something we'll discuss in in our planner course as well. Um, places you can outsource and have someone to print them for you instead of you doing all the work. Yeah, and that was the best decision I could have done because I've sold, oh my gosh, I don't know how many planners I've sold. But I have made some good money off of them. I took them all down off of my Etsy store because I needed to update the interior. And I never got back around to it because I started doing all this other stuff. But people have been asking and asking. So I think I just need to go ahead and update those and put them back on. Of course, I did the interior different on all of those as well. But we're going to get back into the this cinch, 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 cinch. Okay. So, we have... This side here is for your binding. So you're going to take your side here. You can see that how they are hooked together. You're going to take that 
and you're just simply going to sit it on there. It sits on there comfortably, right? So now what we're going to do, we're going to take We're going to take our cover and put it over here. We have that assembled and now we're going to put on our interior first. So we are going to hide our um, binding wire so I'm going to put this face up Okay, so now that we have our interior in, you are going to take your cover. So you're going to put your front cover down first, and then you wanna have your back cover facing it. And this will aid in concealing your binding wire. So what I like to do is just shake it out a little just to make sure it's evened out. And then I also like to just turn it in just to make sure once I close it, it will be concealed to make sure that it is in the right spot here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back and shake it out and kind of make it even. Make sure it's even. So now we will turn our scent around this way. And this is where this handy dandy little baby come in handy. So I'm going to change this to one. Yeah, you have to press down on it. So what this does, it tells you the, the size of your you're thinking I'm thinking this is a size one I hope it is but if not we will see but I think it is so what you do is you just take your wire and I like to get this flat part right here it's a flat area on your wire and I just like to make sure that it's flat up against there and once you have it in place where you want that you will then push it down. And it's not where I want it. I'll turn it this way. And yeah. And you have a closed binding. So you're just going to move this part over. Make sure you can try to get that flat in there. And then you will do the same process and going down. And you have a binding. I'm going to go in and press it down just a little bit more, not too tight. Just a little bit. Because I like to make sure mine is in there really, really tight and snappy because sometimes those pages can slide out if you don't have it closed in right. And we have 
our cover. And I have to cut this excess off. I'm going to run and get that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my wire cutter and what I will do, I'm just gonna turn it over this way. Now let's open this back cover up. And I'm just going to go in and I like to do it this way so I can see. I'm just gonna cut off this excess that I'm not using. I'm not gonna to cut too close. And we're just gonna do a little snip and that'll cut it off. And that is trash. And we have our planner. It's my budget planner, y'all, and I love it. She is so vibrant. She is full of queens. But this is available on www dot currencyqueen dot com now they won't be handmade they are outsourced to my production partner so they will not be this one because yeah I just don't have time to hand make these planners anymore like I used to because we're doing so many other different projects and creating several streams of income but I hope you guys really enjoy that. I kind of enjoyed it because I haven't did it in a long time and making these planners. But I see I still got it, you know, just being creative. Yeah, I love to do my things that's um, handmade. And I think we'll just um, start our next plan with me. We're going to do it in this book. Instead of my other planner, we're going to use this one, but I really, enjoy, I really, I really appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching me do this, y'all, because teaching is going to be my thing. So what a great place to start is here with you guys on YouTube. And, um, you know, I really, really appreciate you guys for stopping by. So... If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would hit that like and subscribe button. Share this video everywhere you can. Share, share, share. Hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload content. And leave me a comment on what you think. But until next time, queens, be blessed. Bye.